So I got a call a few days ago saying the pickup is ready to be picked up. So I'm at the house right now. I'm waiting for the shuttle driver to come pick me up to take me to the service station. And uh, what else is going on? I think it's gonna be another short trip for this one. Um, I was doing some thinking about the books and I thought, oh, sell them on Amazon, <laughs> the book website. Like, duh, why didn't I didn't think of that before. Um, actually, I've been an Amazon seller for over 10 years. It's where I run my business, um, one of my e-commerce businesses. So I kind of, I'm not really sure why I didn't think about that, but um, I think I'm gonna try selling them on Amazon. Uh, the one problem I have is getting them down to my house and finding a place for them. It's gonna be pretty tight. Um, not sure how I'm gonna get them down there. I don't think they're all gonna fit in the pickup. So I might have to make multiple trips or I could rent a cargo van and just do it all in one trip. Um, but I think that's what I'm gonna do for the books. Um, Anything that doesn't sell, I'll just donate down there. Um, so I think I'm just going to box them all up here, kind of stick them in a corner. Hopefully they won't take up that much space um, and then I'll just be done with them. I do want to work out in the garage, see if I can make a little bit more space. I do want to be able to park the truck and my car in there at the same time. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I don't really know what's out in the garage, if it's just trash or stuff I can sell or donate. So I am might do that this trip. It's pretty cold outside. Um, we did have a storm come through yesterday. It's supposed to be sunny and cleared up, but it's still a little overcast. And it's still in the 30s, so I don't really wanna be out in the garage. Um, cleaning and almost freezing temperatures, but we'll see. Um, it might be better tomorrow. So I'm just kind of, those are my thoughts for right now. I'm just waiting for the shuttle van to pick me up and we'll take it from there. Also, I forgot to mention, I. Didn't hear back from the guy who was interested in the van. Um, I guess he came by, took a look at it. Uh, just, he wasn't interested, I didn't hear from him. So I posted it up for sale. I got quite a few responses. Um, so one couple is gonna come by and pick it up. They were really interested. Uh, they're coming by this afternoon. So I'm excited about that. Um, I was kind of overwhelmed by how many responses I got. Maybe I should have asked a higher price. I don't know. Um, I guess my price was on par for something that old that's not running. But it is a really rare van. Um, I didn't know so many people would be interested in it or wanted one. Um, so that's good. I probably could have gotten a little bit more money for it, but that's the way it goes. Um, I'm just happy it's sold to somebody who can put it to good use and love it and take care of it. And I'm just happy about that. So they'll be by this afternoon and I'll have one less thing to worry about. So we just got back, drove the pickup home. It was really fun to drive. I enjoyed driving it back home. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun driving it around town, like dropping stuff off. Um, I feel like I can get a lot more accomplished now since I have that. And I'm just really excited to have it back. Um, I did contact the couple who are going to pick up the van. They're going to be here around 12 o'clock. They're driving from out of town. It's almost 10 o'clock right now. Um, so far, everything this morning is going pretty good. 
So I'm happy about that. Um, somebody left a comment on one of my previous videos that I should take a photo of me in the van as sort of a memory keeper. So I took a couple photos. If they, if I remember, I'll insert them in the video here. They did mention I should have a portrait of my dad and hold it while I'm in the van. Unfortunately, I don't have any portraits of him. I do have some photos of me in the van um, with my parents. If I can find them, I'll put them in the video here. So I really enjoyed my last few moments with it. Um, it's going to be sad to see it go, but it's just it's part of life, I guess. You just got to pass things on to people who will appreciate them just as much as you did when you just don't have any use for it in your life anymore. Um, so I hope, I just hope they have as much fun as my dad did with it. Um, uh, it's really cold outside. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything outside for the rest of the day. So I think I'm just going to be working inside, kind of rearranging and sorting. I really want to have a sale next time I'm up here. So I'm trying to get the living room in order. And we'll see how that goes. Also, I haven't seen Mr. Cat this morning. I hope he's okay. Um, he hasn't come by for his breakfast. Maybe the cold weather is keeping him away. Oh, here he comes right now up into the front door. I think he heard us talking about him. Did you hear us talking about you? There he is. Oh, there he is. In? All right, here we go. We were talking about you. We must have heard your name. Well, I guess he's not mad at me. Nope, he just wants his breakfast. So I moved this electric fireplace and underneath there's a bunch of mice poop. She did have a mice problem so I'm not really surprised. Well she does label everything very detailed. These are books she read in 2021. Kiss. That's surprising. And these are books she read in 2020. And 2021. Actually, all of these are labeled <laughs> when she read them. <laughs> I thought that was funny.
couple just came. They picked up the van. Um, they had a trailer, so they just towed it away. Um, all the tires were flat, so it was kind of quite a chore getting it up on the trailer, but they managed. So I got the van sold. Um, I was sad to see it go. Um, well, like I mentioned before, it's, I've known it, it's been in my entire life, so lots of good memories, but it's time to pass it on to somebody else. And everything went really smooth. They showed up on time. They were a really nice couple. Um, everything went great. Um, so it's about 12.30, 1 o'clock. Uh, I've been working out in the living room. So far everything's been really good today. So I'm having a really good day. Starting to get a lot more motivated to finish the house. I know when I first started, I was just really overwhelmed and crying and depressed and, oh my gosh, how am I going to do all this? But now that I'm seeing things leave the house and I'm kind of making some room in here, it's really helping me to stay positive and in good spirits. So I'm starting to see the end, starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, which is good. Um, just kind of in a better mood today. Everything's going great. Um, so let me show you what's going on in the living room. So this is the corner. I have all the books stacked up here. Uh, there was this electric fireplace in the corner. I kind of pulled that out. And my plan is to just box up all of the books. So I have these left on the shelves. Have some DVDs, VHS. So what I think I'm gonna start doing is kind of collecting things that I'm just gonna to take to Goodwill or a donation place. Um, I don't think it's really worth my time to kind of price out this little junky stuff and move it and display it. Um, I'm just going to donate it since I have the truck running. I can take stuff over as I fill up the boxes. And I'm kind of hoping I can have a sale tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday, so that would be a good day. Um, I think I kind of have the living room squared away. I just need to put away the rest of these books. Put some stuff out on the bookshelves. Maybe I might bring out a few more bookshelves. She has some in her office so I can display more stuff. If I can get some of this furniture out of here, that would be good. Um, so I'm kind of hoping to have a sale tomorrow. Uh, it might just be a short one. Uh, I don't want to stay here all day, maybe just in the morning. But we'll see how the afternoon goes and see how far I get. So I've been stacking up more books over here in this corner. I'm going to try those DVDs on eBay. And I've really just been sorting. They did clear off these bookcases. Put out all of the Bath and Body stuff. There's a few more bathroom personal hygiene items that are still new in the package. I'll just put those there. We have some baskets. Uh, I'm just putting the decor items over here. And tools will go out in the garage. Kind of cleaned up the dining room area. This is candles. Um, the whole linen closet is full of candles too. And then I've just been putting glassware over here. So this is kind of what it looks like. Sorry I didn't film any of me doing the work, but my phone battery was dead so I had to recharge it. Um, I mean, there's still 
Lots of random stuff here. Have all of artwork. Um, so I'm still kind of going through stuff, deciding if I want to donate things or just put them out for a dollar. Um, I'm kind of just taking a break right now, so I'm thinking about that. Um, otherwise, I'm still just kind of sorting everything, trying to get the living room ready for the sale. I think this will go a lot better than some of the other ones that I've had that were just kind of impromptu and it was just a bunch of random stuff sitting around. So I'm trying to organize it this time and put like with like so people can find things that they want and not have it feel like they're just going through somebody's house. Um, I'm feeling pretty good for today. I have like a ton of energy. I don't really know where this came from. I think my mom is here with me. She's just kind of pushing me to just get rid of the stuff. I can just hear her telling me, Mindy, don't burden yourself with this. Just, it's just crap. Get rid of it. <laughs> um, and just get back to your life. So it's kind of pushing me in that direction. Um, I think somebody left a comment to the likes of, most of this is just worthless crap. Just get rid of it or you're going to be dealing with this mess forever. And, um, I think that's what I needed to hear. It just, it made a lot of sense and it really clicked in my head that, um, it's really just kind of worthless crap. I can just donate it and it can, somebody else can buy it and use it. I'm not really sure if it's worth my time, you know, trying to sell every single item here. Um, that's kind of the realization I'm coming to. So, still have a few hours of daylight left. Um, I wanted to work out in the garage. The sun did come out. I don't know, I might do that tomorrow. I'm getting low on boxes. So I think I'm gonna have to go drive around behind Walmart, do some dumpster diving, see if I can find some boxes. Um, if they don't have any I've always had good luck just asking them when their deliveries come and just kind of picking up their extra, extra boxes that they toss away. So depending on what day of the week that is, I might have to come back and do that. Um, I do want to start a bunch of donation boxes. I'm just trying to round stuff up, put it near the front door. And... That's kind of where I'm at for right now, and we'll see how the day goes.